What is up, you guys? Um, my name is Mills Colbreth, and I'm going to be doing some gameplay videos uh, for the new channel Gamers Republic X, Gamers Republic X, uh, to be specific. There's actually a couple of us that are going to be doing some videos and editing and all that. But uh, I'm going to kick off this channel with a video with instructions on how to get better gaming performance out of an Intel HD 3000 or 4000 graphics card. Um, I actually got these from a guy, uh, Mega Voltaic. Go check him out. He's got a few more ways than I do. Um, but these are the ones that help me the most. Um, the first one is the uh, power settings. And go down your battery here. You right click, go to power options, and you set it to high performance. Now, usually, if you haven't done this before, it's not going to have high performance here. It'll have it here in the drop down menu under additional plans. But what you need to do is just uh, pull down that menu, hit high performance. You might want to go ahead and change your plan settings, set everything to never, and um, your brightness is up to you. You get done with it, let's see, get done with it, just hit save changes, and you should be on a high performance battery now. Now, uh, the next thing you can do is right click on your desktop, go to graphics properties, and this is going to pull up your graphics card settings. Um, just let it load. I've got a few things running, so it may take a little while. All right. Advanced mode is what you want to go to. And if you accidentally hit basic mode, then this let's hit it. If you accidentally hit basic mode, then you can change it here. Advanced. And um, you want to go down to 3D. You don't need to worry about any of this. This is all fine. You need to go to 3D. And if you haven't changed any of this before, it's going to look like that. Quality, I'm going to mention that this did, did not help as much as I thought it would. Um, Quality is, for what it says, better picture quality. It's not going to affect your frame rate that much. But just in case uh, it helps you a lot, go ahead and set it to performance. Custom settings, you don't need to really worry about that. It's, um, just got these two. I don't know if a different version of the graphics card changes what you can edit or not I'm not sure this isn't really necessary and this is gonna restrict that so just leave that off and make sure that application optimal mode is checked when you're done just hit apply okay now to check your battery you can go into pa uh, power and you can do this instead of messing with it here too but you're just if you haven't set it here to high performance, if you go to power here, it's going to say balance. You just want to hit maximum performance and uh, plugged in maximum performance on battery, maximum performance, and I don't really know if this changes anything because I mean, you're probably not going to be playing a game on your battery anyway because mine runs dead in about 20 minutes. You're done here, just hit apply and exit out of that. The next thing you can do is um, download a program called Game Booster. Let's see if I can find it here. I'll put the link in the description. And what this program does is it takes your processes and uh, programs that are pulled up on your computer 
see all this this is my programs and processes that were running and it stops all of them it closes them out and it has their services too and it should um, start boosting your game as you start it you can boost it whenever you want to and if you close all this out and you hit restore and it's going to open everything back up and this gets a little bit annoying if you have it set to open it all up I mean not open it all up to uh, to go switch back to normal mode when you exit the game because like uh, let me give you an example when you start steam and you have it on a boost it's going to switch back and forth between your boost and your normal mode and it gets annoying um, I'm going to show you how to stop that uh, right after this. Here are your programs and here's how unnecessary it is for gaming. Usually it'll have everything checked that's unnecessary for gaming. But if it doesn't, then you can just go ahead and check it. Um, that's a game I have running, that's Assassin's Creed. Make sure if you're checking these off, don't check your game because you don't want that. It's going to close out your game. Um, these are your services. Uh, let's see. Things. It'll have most of them checked. If you want to check something else, make sure you don't check the wrong thing. And this, I don't think it has any of these checked right off. Um, you can do whatever. I usually don't because it's got my internet uh, on it and it's got some Toshiba stuff that helps protect the hard drive and things like that. Now here's your other. Clean RAM, clear clipboard, and turn off automatic updates should be checked at all times. You do not want to check this because if you check that and you boost the game is going to take everything you've done with your power options and reset it to the power setting that this program uses so you need to uncheck that I think it's checked by default and you do not want to close explore because that's going to shut down your entire computer and it'll you have to either restart it or see if you can log off somehow control alt delete do not check this here let's see read here it's dangerous to end explorer.exe you can't access my computer and you can restore it to normal mode by pressing control alt r I did not know that but do not check that and when you're done just hit apply you can see all these things that I've uh, that it's pulled up. If you have these programs up on your computer and you hit boost, it's just going to close them all out. Um, yeah, yeah. And the other thing that really helped, um, let me give you an example. I play Assassin's Creed here, uh, and I cannot run the game without game booster or this program this program is called throttle stop and I'm going to go ahead and advise you to be careful because if you don't know what you're doing you will ruin your computer and well that's you'll just ruin it and you can't use it again what this program does is an overclocking program but it doesn't overclock your graphics card like some programs do like MSI Afterburner I think you can see it here that doesn't work for me because I have an Intel so don't even worry about Afterburner this is what you want throttle stop overclocks your processor and if you don't know what processor you have you pull this up and it tells you exactly what you have here and here's your speed of your processor when you pull it up none of these are going to be checked and it's going to be set like this this uh, 
EIST, C1E, and BD Pro Shot will all be checked, and you need to keep those checked. Uh, here's where you can really mess up your computer. Met, make sure that these are both at 100, and then check those. Set multiplier is where you want to be careful. Know your limits of your processor. Um, Intel Core i5s and i7s can both run turbo and if I'm wrong about the i5 let me know because if I am then I'm really at risk. Um, so i5s and i7s should be able to run at turbo and be okay. i3s however you do not want to put it over 21. 21 is the max you want to put it at. If you put it over 21, then your computer's history. So when you do that, you either have 21 for an i3 or turbo for an i5 or i7. And you're just going to check these, change this to what you need it to. And you'll see this is uh, 20, this changing number here is actually your multiplier. Uh, mine's not running at turbo because I don't have my game pulled up and it's gonna when you don't have a game pulled up and you have it on let's let's turn it on but make sure you hit save after you do all this right. turn on see how it's not changing I turned it on it's not really changing it's gonna stay at around 2100 when you're just using your desktop or searching the internet but when you actually go into your game it's going to really boost this up from about 2100 to 2900 or 3000 and that's gonna um... you're not gonna feel your computer getting too hot but uh... if it does feel like it's too hot and it uh, you're in the game and it's running fine and then it has FPS drops with which this is supposed to remove then uh, alt tab out of the game check your CPU temperature what I like to do is I like to keep a fan next to the right side of my computer which is where my vent is and just blow that fan into the vent and that keeps my computer at around 70 75 degrees Celsius. If I don't, then it'll get up to 100 or 105, and my computer will slow down and it's just useless. So, if, make sure you have a good ventilation system, and if you don't, then make sure that you use a fan to cool off your computer. And that's all I have. It really helped me. I hope it helps you. Um, I'll put the links in the description and have a good day.